We're back with more Dragon Quest. Last time we left off, we visited Rab at the ruins of Dungerso, where we discovered um, that he was actually a grandpa, like hashtag small world. And so we helped him perform a ritual that was supposed to help the souls pass. And now you know, we showed him a letter, and then now he's grieving, so we're just gonna leave him on alone to that. Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So, in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there. <sighs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. And going back we do. Oh no, we're gonna die. Just kidding, because we're too strong. Not really, we're kind of under-leveled. from the altar no sign of them what about the darkspawn no sign of him either blast they must have gone away it, it's him <gasps> he's over here the darkspawn is over here oh for goodness sake <laughs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Dark Spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. <laughs> Oh, I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrik! Sir Hendrik! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Ah, damn. People make me run too much. I don't even know where to go. Spawn. There is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. 
Men, the dark spawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward. This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. You will evade me no longer, Darkspawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not. You go again. Ooh, <laughs> that was a ride of emotions. Where are we? Cabin, can I look at the map? Okay, so we're just over here. Oh good, you're awake. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. She sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but... the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me, and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But... even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be 
controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. So much information to process, like, sheesh! Something that I've been like, the small details I've been liking to this game so far is that during cutscenes you have your characters, most of the time, they have the same costumes that you have on and then they still have their unique weapons. Which I think makes really cool because then you get like unique cutscenes because your character might be wielding different uh, weapons to fight with. Sheesh. Who would imagine? That we got saved by a princess. So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn. Sir Hendrik. Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? But you don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Impressive, princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Dark Spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you? Yeah! Princess! I'm sorry. Get on! Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become?
Dude, Jade is a fucking badass. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, the her martial arts are like on some other level. There you both are, and in one piece too. Just about, no thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. Wouldn't it be the first time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know? Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named... Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're gonna have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary, after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica! That must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Yeah, you got the funny got the rainbow. Holy god. Well? Can you see anything? Don't tell me it's a dud! If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him! He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world! Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. Yay, two more have joined the party. <laughs> Alright, so I mean now we have to get to Yggdrasil, oh my god I can't say anything to save my life, which makes it kinda like hard because there's no like, specific objective, but then party wise it also makes it kinda like difficult on what to do because we have seven of us but there can only be four at a time and then Let's look up lineup wise. We have Rab and Serena. Who, holy guy, you guys are 23. Y'all ain't fighting. <laughs> so, as I was saying, those two, they're pretty much the same in terms of support wise. Because he can revive and do Mithil, which is amazing. So, those two should rarely be on the same team. But then, Jade is also DPS from what I was seeing. So if anything, like, 
I don't know how to like swap these people out from time to time. Because we have Veronica who knows some pretty strong magic. And I need that strong magic. Eric is a hit and miss. Because sometimes he'll do good stats, sometimes he won't, but whatever. Actually, hold on, let me go back and check their equipment. How are they? Hmm. So he uses cane and she uses a glaive. Weird. And then you don't got no accessories. Okay, so I still need to find more accessories if I wanna get one for the next out. Huh? Hey, the branch, it's Did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh! I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Well, that was easy. <laughs> Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was, all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Okay, that's it. It's two out of the six now, already it done. Like I just need that to find four. The platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs. Orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. <laughs> hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. <laughs> 